If you're struggling to get good at UFC 4, you're going to want to listen closely to these 7 tips. I'm going to show you how to quickly go from a beginner to dominating the competition online. Many of these tips were the same tips I figured out on my own way back in the day. <coughs> Many of these tips were the same tips I gave myself way back in the day when I first started playing UFC 2, and they helped me get good very quickly. If you like these tips, consider quickly pressing like and subscribe because I put videos out like this every week. Alright, let's get started. Tip number one will literally raise your game immensely the second you do it. And that tip is to have five combinations that you're comfortable throwing for damage and mixing them up. Here's the thing though, each fighter has different combos, so I recommend you take your favorite fighter into practice mode and scroll through their combos. After you find ones that you like, keep practicing it until it rolls off your fingers really fast. You should be able to do this combo as quick as humanly possible without even thinking about it or pushing the buttons too hard or anxiously. It takes practice, but it's doable in about 30 or 60 minutes for most. Do this until you have around 2 or 3 combos in your muscle memory, then go practice them online. After you have those 2 or 3 down, you can return to practice mode to learn those other few combos. If you try to take all 5 combos online at once, you'll be stuck in the mood like McGregor would say. I promise, this might sound like tedious work, but you're going to be happy you did this. I did this back in the day when I first started playing UFC 2 and it instantly upped my game. Make sure you stay to the end of this video because I actually have a link to the best combinations in UFC 4 and that's going to help you pick your 5 combos. Let's move on to tip number 2. Tip number 2 hits deep, so make sure you listen closely. When you're new to this game, it's easy to prioritize combinations and damage and knockouts and shit like that. You likely want to rush forward and just throw your favorite fighter's best shots in hope of receiving the adrenaline rush of them landing. I'm here to tell you, you shouldn't do that. First, start by watching your opponent and seeing what they like to do. Are they swaying their head a lot back and forth? Well, when your opponent sways their head, you should know to throw a hook or a kick. If my opponent is constantly going to my body, I want to counter them with an uppercut. So when the fight starts, rather than just pushing forward and throwing your combos, actually sit back and see what they're doing and then think to yourself, what should I do to counter them? Once you get on that wavelength of thinking, you're going to become so much smarter and so much better at this game because when you move forward and just throw strikes, it's any man's fight and it's just a flip of a coin. The one who's intelligent will almost always win. Let's move on, tip number three. Tip number three I call teach a man to fish. Because instead of just handing you fish, or in this case tips, I'm gonna teach you how to get better all by yourself without anybody's help, so listen closely. When you're playing a fighting game online and you start getting your ass whooped, it can be easy to rage, to quit, or both. I'm here to tell you that we've all done it, but it absolutely positively does not help you get better in any way. When I'm getting my ass whooped, I force myself to observe my opponent's tendencies. Maybe they're doing something really smart. Break down what that is and how they're doing it to you. And maybe start doing it back to them or at the very least against other opponents. Or maybe people are spamming ridiculous shit at you. Rather than getting mad and quitting and saying this person's a fucking idiot, just try to figure out how do you counter whatever move they're doing. I guarantee you there's an answer. At all times, you're either learning what to do or how to counter it when somebody does it to you. Hopefully this tip helped you. Let's move on to tip number four. Let's talk about how and when to faint to make you a striking genius. First, let's cover how to faint. In order to faint or fake a shot, simply press the right trigger or R2 immediately after pressing another strike. This will cancel the animation, resulting in a faint. Here's a few specific examples of when you should be throwing one. When you feint any attack from just outside of striking distance, you make your opponent think that you're really attacking them. As a result, many players will begin throwing their own combinations in an attempt to bang it out with you. Now remember that tip earlier in the list when I said that you should study their tendencies. Now these tips are all coming together because when you feint a shot, their tendencies will start making themselves known. So try faking a shot from at a distance and watching what attacks they move forward with.
Another good time is to feint a leg kick as soon as you get into striking range. It will make them think twice about holding down that high block. Lastly, feint punches to the body throughout the fight. This makes your opponent want to counter with uppercuts and waste energy. Also, when you eventually do go to the body with a real punch, they'll think it's just a feint and they won't bother trying to uppercut you. Tip number five is simple but very effective. Go into practice mode and set your computer opponent to strike recording. Then have them shoot for takedowns. Then start throwing your striking combinations as if it's a real fight and when they shoot for a takedown, press RT and LT to defend. Even though you know the takedown is coming, it'll still prepare your brain to press these buttons in live action. Moving on, tip number six. Tip number six is to throw your strikes from the proper distance. If you want to be an intelligent striker, then you need to throw your shots from the proper distance. That means you want to land the punch from as far away as possible while still being close enough to generate maximum power. On your screen, you see an example of a jab landing from proper range and from improper range. In a real fight, when your opponent is moving, you're going to want to throw this straight punch right as they close the distance and enter that range. So throwing a strike at the proper distance requires some anticipation on your end. The last tip is without a doubt the most common mistakes that new players make in UFC 4, and it's wasting their stamina. You do not need to attack every second of every fight, so just take a chill pill and focus on picking up your opponent's tendencies. Which combos do they prefer to throw? What's the appropriate counter for that combo? Is there a specific order they keep recycling their combos in? This should be your focus in round one, not throwing your most powerful shots. As a rule of thumb, you want to throw a maximum of 100 strikes per round, missing on as few of those as possible. If you're exceeding that, you'll likely be tired and gassed out by the middle of the fight. If you want to see a video that shows you how to win the stamina battle literally every time, click the video on your left. Or maybe you want to see my favorite combos to use in UFC 4, then click the video on your right. Thanks for watching. Make sure to press like and subscribe before you leave.